Pevensey Castle was on the seashore at that time, and indeed the moat around it was the sea itself. If you misbehaved in the castle, they used to chuck you directly into the sea from what was known then as the Sea Gate. The original castle was a Roman one. It was constructed by the Romans on a spur of sand and clay that stands about 10 metres above sea level. In Roman times, this spur was a peninsula that projected into a tidal lagoon and the marshes, making it a strong natural defensive position. So in both Roman times and Saxon times, the castle was on the seashore. It was at the sea boundary and the sea came around the castle. So where is that castle today? Well, it's actually over a mile inland. So the sea is much lower today than it was then in 1066. So it is an historical fact that the seas in both the Roman warm period and the Saxon period, the medieval warm period, were higher than they are today. And of course at this time in the medieval warm period, the Vikings colonised Greenland. So it isn't just in one location that we have evidence of a totally different climate. And in any event, sea levels are worldwide. This graph of sea levels was created by Grinstead in 2009. The grey area indicates the accuracy of the estimates. So as you go further back, like to the year 200, it's fairly wide. But as you come forward, it gets more and more accurate. Until around about 1700, we've actually got tidal gauge data. Now, if you look here, you can see that the sea levels in 2009 were much lower than they were in the medieval warm period. But hold on, what's this curve after 2009, this simple takeoff into the atmosphere curve? Well, that's the prediction curve from the alarmists, and it hasn't happened. So, let's just take a look at what the alarmists were saying in 2005. Well, they were saying there's going to be problems by 2010 with sea level rise. They didn't happen. So what happened in 2011? Well, not to be ashamed of all their wrong forecasts, they did another forecast that by 2020 the sea level were going to cause more problems. It didn't happen. And this is because every single alarmist prediction, be it hurricanes, be it droughts, be it anything else, has been proven to be wrong when its time came. I will just conclude this short video with what could be a possible rebuttal of what I've stated so far. But just in case you heard the rebuttal, that the land was rising and this caused the sea to fall at the castle, here are the facts. The facts are that since the last ice age, the land in the southeast part of Britain, in fact the south of Britain, has been gradually sinking. So in the last 1,000 years, you would have expected the sea to rise, not fall, but the exact opposite has happened. This is a graph showing the contours of the land sinking in the south of the UK and rising in Scotland. It was caused by the removal of the ice in the last ice age. Today, in order to maintain their incredibly more difficult position as time goes by, alarmists are claiming there was no such thing as the medieval warm period, no such thing as the Roman warm period, no such thing as little ice age, in fact, they've even tried to get rid of the 70s cooling period. So anything that goes against the agenda of any previous period being warmer than today has to be struck out. It even includes the 1930s, which was by far the hottest decade in the last 120 years. They have even increased recent temperatures over the recorded values. In effect, they have lowered the temperatures of the past, have increased the temperatures of the current, so as to form a dialogue that shows CO2 is related to temperature, and that is false. George Orwell described the situation very nicely, and I will leave you with what he had to say. He who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. <laughs>